Hello and welcome to this video tutorial for OpenFilter. In this video, we will go step by step through the installation procedure so that other people can install the framework and use it. In the first step, you open Manicam and then you click on the right top corner to check your settings. About Manicam gives you the version which should be 7.10. After checking this, you change in the top bar the settings of the resolution to 720 pixels and 30 frames per second. For the second step, we open BlueStacks. In this case, the setting menu is in the bottom right. You click on the settings icon and then you go in the About page, where you can check that you have the same versions as we have. Then you go in display and you put the maximum uh, display resolution and pixel density. You save the changes and then you restart the program. Now it is time to check your default camera settings. In the start menu you can type device manager and once you open the menu you can make sure that you disable all the other cameras. The idea is that Manicam has to be the default camera. Once you have disabled the others to check if it works, you can open the camera and make sure that you see the logo of Manicam popping out. At this point, we are ready for the setup. First thing, we open BlueStack. Once you're into BlueStacks, you need to install Instagram in case you don't have it. And if you don't have an account, you need to create an account and log in. Then it is very important that you align with very good precision BlueStack at the left side of your screen. And you open your story and then you open the camera. After you open Manicam, and you also open a new PowerShell Clean Terminal. You position Manicam on top of the terminal as we're showing in the video. At this point, through the terminal, you can clone our repository. Once you're done, you change your position and you go inside the folder that you have downloaded. Inside there, you create a new folder called Swapper. You open Swapper and you position it at the bottom right corner, making sure that the overlapping area with Manicam is not too large. Try to follow what you see in this video. Let's now locate the folder in which you have your images. We assume that you're following this structure. In the folder, there are other subfolders whose names are not important, and in each subfolder, there are images that will be processed with a different filter. We are now ready to start. You select the first filter that you want to apply on your images, and then you run the main file. Remember to specify the folder in which you have your original images and the folder in which you're saving the results. As you can see, OpenFilter starts applying the filters automatically. I hope you enjoyed the video and that you find this framework useful.